these chapters fall right in the middle of what most Christians call Holy Week. So this is the final week of the Savior, uh, starting on traditionally Sunday when the Savior comes into Jerusalem and the triumphal entry that we call Palm Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday, Jesus is teaching at the temple. And now we're getting to the section that's going to give us a really quick synopsis of what happened on Wednesday. And we're going to transition in to Thursday. And so these are the days of the, the last week of the Savior as they're moving towards the Savior's crucifixion. And particularly the institution of the sacrament is going to happen in the Synoptic Gospels, which are Matthew, Mark, and Luke, because mm -hmm. they're similar, is going to happen on Thursday. But for John, it's going to happen on Wednesday. Okay. And so the Savior is approaching the end of his ministry and he's trying to give his disciples the things that they need to carry on after his departure. All right. Thank you. Brian, as we talk about these chapters with the sacrament, how can we view the, this last supper, the sacrament as a celebration between what Christ is about to experience and his relationship with his apostles? Well, in so many ways, what the savior is doing is, is really putting a bow on his ministry and, and his life and what he's done to take all of those you know, symbols that have reflected who he is along the way, the, the Passover lamb, the bread of life, the living water, and to bring them all together into a single experience for, for these apostles, um, for them to, to celebrate who he is has been and will be for eternity, and then to give us the opportunity to do the same. <laughs>